Hello, happy 11-11. I hope you can hear me. I'm actually driving. I have a long drive today, so I'm paying attention to the road, but I wanted to use this time to give you a perspective of my veteran story as I served 20 years in the Navy and today's Veterans Day and what that means to me because I think each and every person that served has their own unique experience. Uh, there are many people that have saw treacherous war and a time that I could never even imagine because a lot of people served during really, really different types of war and I honor those people and never mean to ever disrespect anyone else's story or version of being a veteran because just like being a human, we all have our own stories. So I don't talk much about, uh, you know, I, I don't talk a whole lot about my military uh, career, but I do want to let you know that being in the military gave me a life and a lot of people say well thank you for your service and all of those kind of things but I wouldn't be who I am today without the mentorship and the community that the military was for me and I wouldn't have the life I have so the military was a gift to me instead of me being a gift to my, my country the military was a gift for me because I had a lot that I needed to learn. So if you're watching this video and I served with you somewhere in my career, thank you because I really appreciate you. And I grew up uh, with a little bit of chaos in my life and I needed discipline, I needed structure, and I needed a lot of help. So. Um, I wanted to talk about service because I think that we are all called to be of service and it may not look like wearing a uniform, how police or firemen or um, you know, first responders or military people wear a uniform, but I think that you are here to be of service because we're all in this together. We're all the human race and that's kind of where I am after my career. I've been out for five years now. And a lot of times we may think that if you haven't done any grand thing in your life, like have this title or have achieved some external success, that your life is not important. Well, I'm here to tell you, if you're a neighbor, if you're a mother, if you're a, a brother, a sister, or just existing on the planet you're you're important and that is no bullshit you are important and your energy your frequency your attitude and your heart and your brain and your soul you matter so that's my veterans message is that I'm not special I just served in the military because I needed fucking help I needed help and I needed structure and I needed discipline but you are just as important as anyone else even if you've never done anything what you would call over the moon exciting your life is important and my goal now is to hopefully bring awareness of how important you are how important your life is to everybody because if we think that we look out and see the world is bad and we want to change the world and we think that by going and voting is going to change we got another thing coming because the most important thing that we can do and to be of service is take care of our lives and stand up for our needs and our wants. And if something means something to you and it brings you happiness and it brings you joy, well then freaking go for it. Yeah, that is actually what's going to save the world is that we stand up for ourselves. I know. It's probably not the Veterans Day message that you were looking for, but the most important service and work that we can do is to live from our hearts and our souls and be joyful and learn to, to not be a victim of our life and to take action and to do the things that you want to do. And we don't have to be a people pleaser anymore either. 
So there is, I could unpack so many different levels of where I'm going with this message. But what I want to tell you is that if you've never served in the military or you've never had a high position at your job, it doesn't matter. You're still really important. Your life is important and you matter. And rank and um, material status and societal status, at the end of the day, it's really not that important. And what is more important is that we can reach out and make community again. Because that's the biggest gift I got from the military is learning to be with people. I was telling my friend this morning, I'm like, I lived with people 24 seven for months and months and months at a time, men and women, predominantly men, but we lived in close quarters and we had to deal with each other at our worst all the time. Like I've never been married and I've never been engaged. I've never been a parent, but we lived in close quarters with one another and you really get to know each other intimately in community like that. So. I really think that that's something that's missing from our world is living in communion with each other, and um, what I'm what I'm trying and working to co um, to create at my new home out on the Washington coast is community and connection, and in a way that doesn't necessarily have to always involve having drinking and things like that because I think that we are missing connection. So that's a great gift that the military has given me is learning to connect with people where when, you know, when you're young and awkward, you just kind of feel like a weirdo and isolated. So I appreciate you for letting me be a weirdo in front of you <laughs> and for just getting to be vulnerable and share how I feel. All right. Well, happy Veterans Day if you are a veteran and I would love for other people to share their stories and gifts and things that that made their military service special but for me I needed structure I needed help and I needed someone that believed in me so a lot of people that I worked with and worked for in the Navy and such a lot of people really believed in me and that's the greatest gift it's not about the title that I had or how you know how how many deployments I did or anything like that but the gift of being a veteran is the gift of connection and the gift of community and the gift of camaraderie and I will live the rest of my life trying to devote my time and energy to creating camaraderie and community and connection no matter where I live and right now it's on the Washington coast so if you're out in the area I'd love for you to reach out and swing by and take a yoga class if you want <laughs> or if you're not into yoga just saying hi and um, yeah, I wish you well. So thank you if, if you're in my life and you were someone I served with. Thank you very much for your love and support. And I probably ruffled your feathers from time to time because that's what we do. And uh, have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful day. And I will talk to you later.